so, wants to go first. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this, the first, the inaugural state of the game group discussion where everybody <laughs> of the RNG group is excited to be here. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to basically talk about the games that have come out so far and a bit of the uh, news. Shirt next time. Up to this point in the year, <laughs> basically covering January and February. I have lighting. All of the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're still out of sync a little bit, James, but it's all right. We can we can hear you good. So Wow, That's that was fine. what was that? Did you change Boy, the got, warmth of your like, camera? Yeah. No, I've, I've, uh, Sir, I have are, lights, so I'm changing the Are tone. we going uh are we it's going through down the list of topics of conversation? Yeah, yeah. Um I'm just gonna like basically introduce each one and then yeah, just whoever wants to talk about it uh, can chime in. Okay. So we'll just go down the list of who all is joining us today. We'll start from my view of the top left, which is Pam. Hi, you know that's her as me. Pam. Uh, <laughs> on the screen, you'll see a link to her various Mom's socials. Right. <laughs> and who do we have next on the list? We have Chaz. Wait, I'm next? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Hi, I'm Chaz. AKA okay. Sea Otter. That's he right. Is, sea Otter uh, Mayhem. And who do we have next? Uh, Renee is with us, aka Gaggity. Giggity, giggity. Hello. Giggity, giggity. We have Amari. <laughs> Yo. Oh, so <laughs> G. <laughs> and we have Joe. I want a chance to be cool. I blew it. <laughs> had, to, had, to do it. had to do it to him. He had to do it to him. Is it? Oh, there he is. <laughs> and we have Sam okay, and Katie. They are living together, so they are sharing the yeah. camera together. It'd be weird so if they weren't. It's it's a very uh, well, it's a very it's like they're dating or something. <sighs> are we dating? You heard it here, folks. Confirm. <laughs> oh snap! The news yeah. broke. You heard it live. I don't know. today on RNG.com. Is that what we do for the past five RNG. years? I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, cat. And cat and you know me. Yeah, oh, and there's Do a we? cat. Well, well, I mean, you guys don't, but the, the people watching at home, they're they're tired of seeing my faces, and this is a nice breath of fresh air seeing somebody other than me on the camera. Self-deprecation. <laughs> hey, I will yeah, decorate I myself as much as I want. <laughs> no, that's self-defecation. <laughs> that, Wait, no. that's, a, that's a very <laughs> gross kind of decoration. <laughs> it's a butthole. <laughs> just, 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 just bringing it right back around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring okay, so we're right gonna start off around. with game releases. Uh, in, I had them in chronological order, but they're not now. So I'm just gonna go out the first one on the list, which is Resident Evil Two. <laughs> Which, yeah. uh, uh, show of hands, who all has played Resident Evil 2? Me! Okay. Well, I played the original, but not the, the Let's play through. Re I didn't do the second okay. playthrough yet with Claire. Uh, Clarifying the re-release, not the original. Yes. Mm -hmm. Claire is The spiders like... are in it! Oh, wow. I mean, I'm not mad, but I'm kind of upset. <laughs> that the spiders aren't there? No. I'm okay <laughs> that the spiders aren't there. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay I'm with I'm just glad well. the... Well, I people were warning me because uh, I streamed the whole thing well as much as I could play, and people were like, "Oh, look out for the dogs!" And the whole time I was on on edge for doggies, <laughs> and there was never doggies. <laughs> was there not dogs? There not in dogs. the clear side. Oh, uh, not in the clear. Really? Not on the clear side, but on Leon's side, yeah. There's yeah. On Leon's side, there's a lot Wait. of dogs. Yeah, Leon's no? side. Leon just gets screwed over. No, when you go to the... <laughs> Leon gets Interesting. Real, real hard. When you go to the I've watched a couple of the playthroughs. There's, uh, there's no dogs on Claire's? Nope. There's no dogs on Claire's. It's a balance no. of nope. life. Huh. Get everything. Yeah. It's, it's really cool. interesting. But um, Actually, for... if you think about it, it could be in like ye oldie days where they're like, oh, she's a woman, you know, let's not make it too hard. I mean, it was old. <laughs> no, no. Okay. She's... All right, James. I see. I see. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just saying, it was PlayStation okay. back in ye oldie days. So, uh -huh. yeah, in the original Resident Evil. Then again, this is the remaster. Playing as Claire, playing as um, all the other, other remaster, like, so female really characters in the old Resident Evils, it would bring, it would technically be the easier difficulty. Yeah. Uh, like in Resident Evil. Well, but this like, was a completely overhaul, so that's what I'm like, mm, they might have changed it, but I guess they didn't. So so for everybody who's played Resident the new Resident Evil, um, if you've played the old one, what was your primary takeaway? Like what was your favorite part about the the re release or the remake? Oof. Um <laughs> entering the police station for the first time. Yes. And seeing seeing that yes. iconic oh, cool. 
view of the police station of when you walk into that hall. Yeah. Because in the original, when you walk in, there's like an actual mini cutscene that plays that kind of just shows mm -hmm. off the play, the you know, whole thing, and then the theme plays. And when you walk in in this re-release, the Resident Evil engine is just so bafflingly beautiful that when you walk really in into this re-release and you see like the new shuttered doors and if you've played mm -hmm. the original and then you come to this one it's a whole new experience type type thing and it's just such a cool feeling to see something how when you when you think about it nostalgic wise you think about it like in the hd format so then when you're mm -hmm. seeing it it's like this is exact this is how i remember it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that, well, that was, was cool what stood it, out even... most for me too Go what's ahead, cool about returning players is they cut you off guard because like when you start the game you're like oh i can't wait to start in like this the, the fire and the game like the explosion but they didn't start like they started like a kind of like a pre-tutorial mm -hmm. at the gas station the gas and that station. really impressed me because i'm like wow because then you finally go into the city and then it's just like it kind of like i guess it's like a clean wipe even for like nostalgic players it was just like oh well i wasn't expecting it so like it's still a surprise even when you're back in raccoon city after like the tutorial which i died and i'm sad <laughs> you died in the you died during i the freaked tutorial? out i free i freaked out i freaked out i didn't know because i was expecting okay. the fire i was expecting okay. the fire i was ready for the fire and i was not ready for a freezer i know, fight, you know? gas stations oh, scare yeah. the shit out of me too <laughs> you have to pump your own gas. But uh, all, all in all, though, uh, would everybody agree that the Resident Evil Two game was a well game, well made game on its own, and also did justice to the original? Absolutely, oh, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely, it was a really, really good game. Okay, uh, and moving on to Kingdom Hearts Three. Which I believe, with, well, okay, we got some reactions already. Uh, yeah, so like, Katie and Sam have played it, yes, James have played it. I played it. And Amari has played it. Uh, I think that's I it. I haven't really played it. Good. I know Pam hasn't. Uh, I have played it. Okay. I haven't. I remember no. seeing specific tweets from Pam how she's not going to play it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if okay. I wanted to play with Mickey, I'd play something else. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally if you took the Disney characters out of it, it would just be like a yeah. weird anime. Yeah. 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 Very weird yeah. Final Fantasy. Like, it's once, Final Fantasy. You, once you get yeah. to that point of the game where it's like, oh, the Disney part's over. All right, I'm done. I, I do. I do, however, remember uh, my uh, my friend Marissa actually is a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts, and she said that she's been waiting a number of years for closure. Or, uh, Amari, are you like, are you a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts? Did you get that same closure? Like, did you enjoy the game, or was it as <laughs> boring as she said it was? Uh, I there were many points in the game where I just kept going, what? <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, but then there comes a point in the game where you hit uh, I hated the frozen level <laughs> when you get to like the final like arc of the game like the final 30 minutes or so answers and closure start happening for all a bunch of side characters but nothing for like the really main person and that really hit me where I finally mm -hmm. started seeing some some of those arcs end and some real real nice happy happy dory type things then when I finish the game and the game continues to leave like unanswered questions and introduces new plot, that's when I was like, oh, there's another one coming. <laughs> Here's another, yeah. Why? 15 years. Another, another 15 years. Yeah, until that happens. Oh, yeah. The creators already come 40s. out saying that he's going to do DLC for this instead of doing like a Kingdom Hearts final remix like he does with the other titles. Mm -hmm. Final this... remix 2.77 or whatever. <laughs> exactly. It's got to be 3. <laughs> he's going to release all the additional content as DLC. Oh, and... nice. Free DLC then... or. <laughs> there's gonna be a free DLC and a paid DLC, so there's gonna be money grabs. Both worlds. Okay, yeah. yeah, I see. You. Okay, okay. Right. Uh, now, was um, Amari the, free, the, the only DLC. person that played? Oh, I'm no, so sorry. No, no. Um, free DLC is gummy ships. What? <laughs> Get what? <laughs> yeah, just pointing to everybody. Point, point. Uh, no, I was gonna uh, turn it to Katie because she had a very uh, uh, strong reaction when I mentioned the game. So, because uh, like. So the thing was, is that I was so wrapped up for this game and so excited because, you know, when you're a kid and you're like, I get to play with all of the original, like, Disney characters. And you're like, this is amazing. This is so much fun. I'm so excited. You went played. Me and my best friend after school would play one. We'd take turns with the controller, giving it back and forth between different, like, you know, scenarios and things like Aww. that. So 
yeah, that was like a thing that I always loved doing. And then this game, I'm I'm not finished, <laughs> but it's because it feels very just monotone. You know what I mean? Like it's there's just some bits of it like I'm not gonna lie, I don't think the story's great at all. I never have. <laughs> but I also I have no like, idea what's going on. Ever. It's yeah, it, it's okay. I just enjoy it because it's kind of like a mindless thing and it kind of brings me back. Like I love Disney. Disney is one of my favorite things <laughs> on the entire planet. Um it's just this is just it's just like a ah! but like I have some feelings, but when I finish it then I know I'll have more yeah, but Sam do you think it. do you think the that monotone um, like feel that you were talking about? Um, I heard I heard a lot about like repetition. Do you think that that kind yeah. of perpetuated that? Oh yeah, and in, in every world, it was it felt like the same thing, just in a different scenery. Yeah, it was yeah, very yeah. The, the tangled world and the frozen world. I mean, we're just like complete copies of each other. Um, and the combat. I mean, you're really just hitting. Depending on what console you're playing on, we were playing on Xbox, so you're really just hitting. A A A A A A A X A A. I never used my magic either. Yeah. Really? Use my magic. You don't need to. Lord. I I the magic. Simba so much fun though. Yeah. Bring in Simba. Simba. Simba is so broken. Yes. Yes. The Simba ability. That's all you need. Yeah. So good. Yeah, because yeah, what happens is in in all the Kingdom Hearts, you were able to summon like I guess like I guess they couldn't build a story around it or a world around it, so they would just bring in these little uh, trophy characters as summon. And like uh, in Kingdom Hearts two, you had Genie, uh, you had Bambi. Nobody used Bambi. I don't even know why they put Bambi. Um, <laughs> you had Dumbo. Really Dumbo was awesome. He was. He was. That's a good point, especially for Sephiroth. And it was hilarious because he would yeah. run around prancing, and you have and Sephiroth, Sephiroth, and then there's Bambi. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> but um, it, <laughs> third one though, they brought in they brought in Simba, and I think Simba's always been like a summons that you could bring in, except for two. Like Simba, in, like, yeah, because you could play. But this one exactly. But uh, in this one, it was just OP because he, he would come in and he would stop and everybody would get damaged. And I'm just like, this is ridiculous. Like, even, like, as Mario was saying, like, the last 30 minutes, as you're getting closer, you're fighting the big boss. I'm like, I'm bringing in Simba. I'm not I'm not, <laughs> Simba, this I'm not Simba, fine. Yeah. I'm actually anything. I'm just bringing in Simba. And to kind of, like, say about how monotone or sort of streamlined this one was, um, I... As if people know me, I typically play games on the hardest difficulty first playthrough uh, I was gonna say, same yeah. <laughs> you so go I, all in. <laughs> so, so with Kingdom Hearts three, immediately I booted up into proud mode, and it was the easiest. Oh my god, proud it was mode. Yeah. Oh, I got to it was ridiculous. Yeah. It was I, really I had to keep easy. checking. I'm like, are we playing on the hardest difficulty? And then when really? you unlock the final Keyblade, like the the Ultima Blade, is what it's called. Oh, I haven't done it, it yet. It destroys everything. The final boss. <laughs> Does it? Oh, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Final Blade is really badass looking. Yeah, um, I believe it's always been. overall. Overall, graphically, the game's amazingly beautiful, like super pretty. Oh, was. Orchestra yes. is fantastic. Um, the original song by Utada Hikaru, Hikaru I think is her name is. Oh, um, fantastic! She yes. partnered with Skrillex for one of the songs too. That oh wow! Everywhere. I listen to that every really, day. <laughs> really cool. Uh, you think like what? <laughs> Skrillex at Disney? Like, uh, you don't think that? Yeah, same. I didn't know Skrillex was still a thing. <laughs> yes. 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 Anymore. yes, now they so, have much more the space. Fun, they turned the light on. <laughs> fun playthrough, though. I would still say it was yeah. They turned the light on. They're like, listen, man. Nice. We need you to like. So, like. so ultimately, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts worth it, but a bit disappointing then? I wasn't I mean, expecting much. I mean, for 15 years, if people like put up that hype bar really high. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was just like, it's a, it's a game that's been de like developed this long. Well, I mean, I if we're if we're comparing it to so other games really that had the same time hype, we go for Duke Nukem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. A lot better. I played that. I played that. <laughs> so, but better than that, though, right? Went in with low expectations, and your expectations were met. <laughs> you can't be disappointed if you have no expectations, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I think it, I think it lived up to the hype, but nothing past it. Like that's it. Right. Yeah, it didn't yeah. go above and beyond. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, moving on to the next one, uh, Crackdown Three. Uh, who all has oh. played that one? I have. Played I it. have it for reasons. <laughs> we love Terry Crews in his house, but Ugh. what just happened? Okay. I'll... <laughs> I I wasn't sure if you're going to elaborate on that, but uh, okay. 
But either way, you can like, play as other characters, though. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You don't have to play as Terry Crews. You don't have to play as Terry Crews. Yeah. But, Why would you uh, not want characters? to? But that's, that, that's the thing. Know. Yeah. <laughs> what is your reason for not support of this game? Because I heard... Huh? Okay, this is terrible. It's because I heard that it was mm. absolutely garbage. <laughs> that the game was garbage? Yeah. That's uh, what I've heard. I, I would say that's that's harsh but maybe not saying? wholly inaccurate is yeah. that it's Curse, not as good Curse. as people wanted it to be gotcha. but if you wanted another oh, crackdown that's exactly what it was mood lighting. visible yeah <laughs> lighting. Oh, there you go um, I actually so on on my end like again i didn't play it but on my end i actually heard a lot of like oh i was pleasantly surprised um oh. and who who all played it again i did um, so, so, uh, have you played the other iterations of Crackdown? Mm-hmm. I played okay. one, too. Yeah, Chaz has, um, I haven't. Okay, so, uh, do you think that they added any new elements to the third game that kind of made it different, or? Mm, not really. Was it just new engines? <laughs> it's, it's, it's literally new the engine. same game again. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was going a different direction than, because I felt like one was kind of had more structure to it. Like, taking out the bosses actually meant something. Like, mm -hmm. it actually did something to, to actual, you know, make the game a little bit easier, make the game a little bit harder. This one's kind of the same. I guess they added, like, the GTA element of, like, where you're in trouble. Like, more trouble comes, and then eventually it just escalates, which yeah. I guess is kind of cool. But other than that, I don't I think I don't it, remember much of 2, but I don't but I don't think 2 was like... It, it actually <laughs> that is says toned something down. about 2. <laughs> it's actually toned down from 2. 2 had additional yeah. elements that everybody hated and they just basically took those out. <laughs> I think that, uh, yeah. I think one of the one of the biggest issues that the gaming industry has right now is a lot of companies have really awesome original ideas and then they try really hard to make someone else's game. Like, oh, we need oh, to make a yeah. MOBA. Oh, we oh, need yeah. to make a Battle Royale. Oh. And so... They That's... try too hard to make, uh, like like you said, crack down like GTA because they wanted to buy into the success of another franchise or another, um, you know, genre. I and, have a um... perfect segue for that. Ah. Tetris ninety nine. Ah. Hey. <laughs> Tetris Battle Royale. I'm all about that. Ta talk about going into different genres. Tetris made a battle yeah. royale. Nice job, Makey. Good segue. <laughs> hey, well, I mean, you 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 created the lead-in topic. Tetris so. coming out of retirement to take so, over. Yeah. <laughs> so who all has played that one? I played it for a little bit, and I mean, it was Tetris, you know. So it's it's I as fun as Tetris is. A little bit. Hell yeah, victory number one. <laughs> not, here. not me, not yet. Again, <laughs> humble brags from Amari. <laughs> Oh. Let him have his one. Uh, I've actually I've only seen my friends stream it, but I I laughed at the idea of it when I first heard it. Yeah. But then I saw someone play it, and I was like, I actually really want to play this. It does now. look amazing. Yeah. It yeah. looks so yeah. fun. Yeah. Well, it kind of reminds me thing. of Tetris Attack, where mm -hmm. you would play against somebody else, and the better right. you played, the more obstacles it created for your opponent. It just so happens you have yeah. ninety nine opponents now. Is uh, I, uh, you guys probably help me with this question because I've never played it, so I don't understand how it works. How do you attack other people? Is it random, or do you choose people to attack? I think it's both. I think Good some luck. people are random, and then some people can actually <laughs> make target, if I understand it correctly. <laughs> okay. Okay. So is it, like, dependent on the game modes? There's only one game mode. It's just... Okay. Uh, and <laughs> using the right stick, you can either hit, make it so it attacks random people, people. Mm -hmm. You can make okay. it so it goes after people who have medals. You can make it so it's people who are on their way to lose or yeah. people who are targeting you. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so you, so you have a list, basically, of things you can select from as far as, like, types of attacks or directions yes. of attacks. Okay. I literally had to look up the instructions to this game because they just throw you in there. And I was like, wait, <laughs> like, what yeah, like what's just... happening to me? No, no. Oh, <laughs> that's why I made that face. I was like, what? No. Like the mechanics, the mechanics. Thank you, Katie. Oh, um, oh. Because I was just part, getting yeah. attacked by like everyone, and I was like, 80th place. I was like, they okay, could I'm tell you were new. <laughs> this like, guy doesn't know. He doesn't, you. he doesn't even know how to change his directions. I was like, no, please. Me, the first ten times. <laughs> 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 yeah no and actually so, that that being the case like that was like i had the opposite where like i was just like i'm just gonna go in and play tetris and see what happens <laughs> and i lost very quickly 
That's what I, I, I didn't even pay attention to like what other mechanics were. I was just like, I'm just going to play Tetris and see what happens. And That's exactly uh, what I did. I did not last long. Tetris for the win. So thumbs up from everybody. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. No, it's, it's a silly idea. Yeah, I sense. think it's a silly idea, but it's when it executed, it's just something so awesome when you see the 99 other boards next to your board in the center mm -hmm. and as you are escalating yeah. towards the center, um, towards like the top 50, the music changes and it gets a little bit faster. And then I when you get like the top, are top, <laughs> 10, top five, then the flight of the bumblebee starts playing oh, and, it get, and it's really fast too. So it's just, and you're just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Involuntary heart racing. Absolutely. Like every battle royale game, this game gives me crazy anxiety. So like, oh boy. I never thought Tetris would make my heart race. When you're, when you're getting to that, like, Flight of the Bumblebee and people like it's just whoever's left targeting you to try and take you out. Oh my god! Ah, it's, it's ah. especially when you see there's like a bar in the set like to the left of your board that it fills up with garbage, mm, yeah. and if you don't clear out like lines, it will all that garbage will then go into your board. So then it could that's how they eliminate you. Oh, okay, uh, interesting. And as far as like what Sam was mentioning with the mechanics, you know, yes, it's Tetris, but the attacking thing there is actually a mechanic to it where if you build up metals and build up uh, percentages and everything, the oh, um, yes. garbage mm -hmm. that you send to other players gets amplified by your metals. So if you first attack people who have metals and grab their metals, then when you attack people, it you know, allows you to become a juggernaut and taking people out. Uh, yeah. And it okay. really helps you in the end game when you're in the top 10 to help take out other stragglers and stuff like that. Gosh, I, guess, I guess that's another <laughs> like kind of battle royale kind of aspect is like yeah. when you're defeating opponents and the, the further you get in like say in PUBG or something like you pick up more stuff and like the more you do mm -hmm. yeah. the better equipment you get and the yeah. stronger you are against your opponent. Stuff, you take his stuff. Yeah, interesting. I, although the idea of uh, Battle Royale Tetris was kind of like, oh, okay. Well, actually, it's pretty good. You know, like a really quick turnaround because you immediately want to be like, ah. But I'm still very, very, very concerned about the Tetris movie. <laughs> There's a Tetris movie coming out about that. Yes, about that. there is a Tetris movie coming out because, and I have insider info. Um, oh, sorry, it's a really weird me. tangent that I'm going to go on really quick. Um, the the producer from Terminator, I was his like gamer consultant. He was like, he calls me Horton. He's like, Horton, I have a really great idea. What do you think? <laughs> like, what games do you think should be made into a movie? And I sent him a list, and he was like, uh, yeah, no. How about Tetris? And I was like. <laughs> No, like, no, what are you it's talking like, about? I mean, like, unless they adapt it into like a moving company, a movie about a moving company that like stacks stuff in a, in a no. bin. No, here is the story. <laughs> oh, there Do you is want a, this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, so the story uh, is there uh, is an alien race that teaches uh, this is. like mental jujitsu of like being able to, to uh, change and affect matter. It's like the, the Tetrasalia or something. It's... Uh, you've already really lost dumb. <laughs> you've already lost it's me. Like, yeah, so, no, it's so this like, is going to be the pixel movie all over again. Yeah. You, you lost me an alien. It sounds like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, again. it's an alien race that's like teaching this like, you know, martial art. So, oh, yeah, it's anyway, sorry. Continue on the list. I wanted well, to talk well, about and, that. I need to know more. Yeah. <laughs> a a bit of digression. No worries. Um, okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump to the next one. Uh, Far Cry New Dawn. I've been playing the hell out of that one. Has anybody else been playing that? Has anybody oh, played play Far Cry 5? I played a little bit. If you've played the previous Far Cry games, it's pretty much more of the same. It's, I mean, I've not played 1 through 4, but I've heard nothing but good things about them, so there is that. Yeah. Far Cry 5, I played to 100%. Like, uh, I enjoyed it that much. Uh, there's just something about, like, the ease... Or not ease, but like the way in which you approach battles and everything. Like you can do stealth, you do action, <laughs> but it's very much a uh, uh, you know choose your own path kind of uh, gameplay. And you're freezing up, Amari. Oh, it looks like he's farting. How how long has he been frozen up for? I thought he was trying to literally when you pointed it out. Oh, okay, okay. Am I still um, okay, we'll have to figure that out. But uh, maybe but no, oh, oh, there oh, there he is. Nope, you're back. Oh, <laughs> nope, no, he's gone not. again. Oh. Okay. Uh, there he is. <laughs> okay, but no, uh, Far Cry New Dawn is very good. 
I would say it's good as a standalone. Some people disagree with me and say you have to play five mm -hmm. first, but mm -hmm. it's only 40 bucks. So, oh, wow. Yeah, it's, I, I would say Mikey. it's worth it. So Yay. New Dawn, New Dawn is directly after Far Cry Five, right? Like, like essentially, years yeah. Later, right? it's, it's like, yeah, it's twenty years down the line, it's but it Far Cry. carries off from the previous one for sure. Yeah. One of okay. my favorite Far Cry is Primal. Primal. Yeah. Primal? Oh, I always yeah. wanted to play that kitties. one. Giant <laughs> <laughs> kitties. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, so this one technically hasn't come out yet, but. It's had enough betas that it feels like it's come out, which is uh, <laughs> which is uh, Division Two, which I have. Uh, have you played it, Pam? Uh huh. When did you when did you play it? <laughs> when I was in San Francisco at Ubisoft. Oh yeah, you got. I, I forgot you got to to preview it then. Uh, well, what were your thoughts on it? Because you you don't really play that uh, genre of game very much. Um, well, for starters, uh, the only version that they set me up with was the. Uh, console version so i struggled immensely um but i feel like uh when they do betas and demos i feel like they try really hard to showcase the best aspects of the game and then when you have like beta 2.0 or whatever um you're getting more of what the real game is and it's kind of like that e3 expectation where it's like oh my god that game looks beautiful and it looks sick and i'm excited because they're fixing all these things and Same then you actually game. play it and then it's like uh, you know <laughs> like i love ubisoft because you know they they've been uh, a great supporter and you know they have the best teams and they're really passionate people but i just like you know like sometimes i feel like you know, the Division 1, the first game, was a great meal, and now the Division 2 is like the following fart, you know? <laughs> 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 like, I mean, like, but that's just based off of the gameplay, the demo gameplay, and the beta, and I don't really think that a game itself should be judged based on a beta, but oh, sure. if they want you to be excited about a game, you need to really, like, cre create and instill some exciting, level yeah. of excitement yeah. in... I'm not excited. Yeah. I'm not like. No, well, the one thing I, mean, I, I can to... say is from the time that you played it until it, like now, like when it's out in like, you know, pre release beta, it seems like it has improved. Like it's the game is solid. Uh, mechanically, it's there. Uh, it's still not that exciting, but mm -hmm. it is like if you like the first division, you're going to like the second division. Yeah. And, okay. Okay. and it they plays took out a lot of the well. boo boos, right? I, I, they, it sounds they, like it, yeah. For, uh, they fixed a lot of the boo-boos from the first one. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I was actually talking, Lasercorn texted me and he was like, you need to play Division 2 with me. And I was like, <laughs> okay, we played that together already. But um, I saw him yesterday and he was talking about how he was like, "Yeah, you. It's better that you didn't play it." So <laughs> I know that I know that I'm not the only one that was like, oh, you know, like. Yeah. Well, the 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 big takeaway, and Amari and I kind of talked about this a little bit on the previous stream, <laughs> is that the game's good. It's solid. Uh, the the biggest thing we could say about it is that it's. Wait, just Ooh, a second. Uh, I think. I think okay. Moose Cat got up and he pressed a button on my keyboard. I <laughs> no worries. Uh, and he did it again, apparently. Uh, yeah, he's kind of scratching and you know messing Moose. with himself right now. Oh, Moose Cat. Yeah, you should. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if it happens again, it's not me. Okay. Um, but no, as I was saying, like the the biggest takeaway for us was that it was solid. Like it mm -hmm. wasn't really glitchy. Like there was a minor sound issue, but other than that. Like the game worked, like you would expect a game to work. Yeah, yeah. Unlike you're not like clipping through cars and exactly. There's like not that. like any so major you, bugs, like, Call like... six or anthem. Exactly. This one, it's a, a for a beta. It was working. Yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah. and and the idea is that it only gets better, and this is definitely going to get better. So also so we a have good that segue for. into yeah. 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 Like it's <laughs> no that that is yeah a uh, good call. <laughs> uh, so I, I Anthem real, real quick, real quick, real quick. Final, final thoughts on The Division 2 um, it's, It looks really good It looks really exciting If you've played the first one It is the second one It's, it's the exact same thing as the first one But in Washington DC It looks like there's a lot to do right off the bat And they really put a huge focus on Endgame But if you're 
into that type of realistic looter shooter, then yes, that's for you. If you're wanting a little bit more oomph from your character to feel really powerful, then it might not be for you. Because when I played it, my impression was when I use an ability, I would like to use that ability not in the next four minutes. Um, mm -hmm. Because the cooldowns oh, felt yeah, a little yeah. ridiculous. I forgot the vision and was long I, needed, I didn't get to the part where you unlock your ultimate because I just wanted to, if I were to ever get this game, I wanted the ultimates to be a surprise to me. But yeah. Initially, when I did, when I was playing it and I played through, uh, there was that Isaac thing where every now and then he would say, an agent is requesting backup, an agent is requesting backup. They did fix that in the next beta where you could turn that off, but when I couldn't turn that off in the initial beta, I can't. That's so camera. annoying. Oh, yeah. Because um, it happens so often. Yes. It was like then, it was like every couple, like more frequently than your ult. <laughs> exactly. More frequently than your abilities. It was just, it was a little nuts. Um, but if you want that power fantasy, Division might not be for you. If you want a really fun looter shooter. Just straightforward shooter, thing, yeah. Straight yeah, shooter, exactly. Shooter, then Division 2. Yeah. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right, and anthem, as Pam was segueing, yeah, Anthem, mm -hmm. I played the beta. I have not played the full release. And the one thing that really turned me off on the game, uh, bugs, you know, are what they are, but I haven't played the full release, so I can't judge it on that. But the loading times. The loading oh, times are just yeah. way mm. too long for me. Yeah. And that was that was actually one thing I was I was talking about with the division is that they do the loading times in that you transition. It's not a stop loading screen go. It's a walk from here to here, and it loads as you get there. With Anthem, it's like every time you go to a new place, it was just like loading screen. And I didn't I notice could... that. Hmm. With with Anthem, it's when you go into a next big area. So if we okay. go to the to the hub, a loading screen. When you're going to select a mission, loading screen. When you go from the outside world into a cave, loading screen. If you unfortunately get too far from your party, loading screen. If you need to go to the bathroom, loading screen. Yeah. If you wanted to change what your helmet looked like, loading screen. But no, the, the customization. You started that. You fluid. started that sentence with like it doesn't really happen that often, but actually. <laughs> yes. When you when you are playing it, you don't notice it until when the gameplay stops. Uh, the gameplay hmm. stops and you are either in the hub world or you're trying to select a mission. I see. Then you'll notice it. Uh -huh. um, they yeah. have since then improved the loading times. They've gotten significantly better. They're still there, but it's <laughs> a lot better than what it was. Um, the I don't know where you want me to go with this, Mikey. If you have a direction. Um, Everywhere. Uh, I mean, <laughs> just I mean, because because mine, and I'll just touch on like what I was gonna say, and then I'll leave it to you because you've actually played the game like full on. Like I only played a little bit mm -hmm. of the beta. Um, the big thing for me, like I said, was the loading times, and even if they don't make the loading times shorter, if they change how they load, because like if you look at games like Destiny mm -hmm. or Mass Effect. There's still a loading screen, but mm -hmm. the way they do it kind of takes away from the fact that it's a loading screen and kind of looks like there's still action happening or at least something's interesting happening on screen. With yeah. Anthem, it's very much like a here is a static image and just sit here and look at that until the next scene comes up. And that that was my big thing is just like if they could find a better way to do the loading screens, that would be that would be the improvement for me. But uh, that was the only thing I had to say on that, though, the the whatever you uh, wanted to get into on it, uh, go for it. So as I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of us here that are very big Bioware fans or were Bioware fans when Mass Effect was the big thing. <laughs> uh, Star Wars Coder was the big thing. Oh, um, and then Andromeda oh, happened and then people kind of fell off the wagon. We don't talk and about now, Andromeda. What's Andromeda? <laughs> and now Anthem's happening and Bioware's kind of just like in the gutter. Uh, so, didn't, for didn't something happen with Bioware? Like they got they left their parent company or something? Uh, that or was Bungie. EA, right? That was Bungie. That was Bungie. Bungie. Oh, okay. Bungie. Um, which we probably will get to later um, if we have time. We'll mm -hmm. talk about that. But uh, that's up to Mikey. Um, with Anthem, when you compare it to Vanilla Destiny 1, Vanilla Division mm -hmm. 1, and Borderlands 1, when you talk compare oh, wow. it to that as a looter shooter, it is really good. It is really good as far as the story has fully fleshed out cinematics, fully voice act, uh, voice acted protagonists and characters that you, you interact with. Your character has a voice and you get to choose things that you say to other characters in your little hub world that can affect how your hub world kind of acts, sort of. Um, it's very passive, but you do get to see a minor 
thing that happens when you talk to these other characters. As a Bioware game, it is really poor. Uh, <laughs> as a Bioware game, it wow. is it is low. You know, so, as a generic looter shooter, I would give it like a solid 8.5 out of 10. So as it's only as good game, as the standard oh you hold it to. Yes. Well, that's, that's the thing, too, is I was having a conversation the other night with some of my other friends, and they were just like, you know, they were like, oh, like, and I, I was that way, too, initially, where I was like, oh, my God, I'm so disappointed. This is a Bioware game. Where's my story? Where's this? Where's that? But also, too, that you can kind of play devil's advocate and, and say, you know, just because Bioware is known for those things doesn't mean they can't do other things. And oh, I think absolutely. That yeah, yeah. Might yeah. be something that they're trying to do. It's yeah. coming off not as great as it could be, but you know. Yeah, they're making an attempt to branch out because they're not making yeah. another a Mass Effect game. They never. They specifically said they're not making another they Mass Effect stop game. Stop touching Mass Effect. <laughs> yeah. So I agree. It so so like, yeah, it shouldn't necessarily be held to that for sure. But I think on top of your point, Katie, Bioware even tried to do that with Star Wars The Old Republic That's true. instead of yeah. when they couldn't make KOTOR 3 or anything. So they tried to go into the MMO RPG world saying it was going to be the um, World of Warcraft killer oh. <laughs> and everything. And I mean, look how that turned out, right? It was yeah. a game that you could buy and now it's a free to play game. I feel like the, in, in the gaming industry, and this is like a lot to do with marketing is... Um, there's a lot of uh, written bravado. They're like, it's the next this. <laughs> and um, usually what makes me want to play a game is uh, when they're like um, a little bit more, uh, unlike Amari, uh, humble with the way they present themselves. <laughs> 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 Um, but like when, when I feel like, um, they're, they're selling it tell... on its merit and not on something yeah. that it could be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like when, when you compare your, your, your game oh, to another shit. game or say it's going to replace a game or something that, that says to me, you're not creating a space for your game by itself as a standalone thing. You're trying to compete with other people instead of like, this is why I love Nintendo as, as a development company is because they aren't trying to compete. They don't like, they, they want to ha have fun. Everybody wants to have fun and they want to create games that are fun. And they think outside the box for that. And, you know, saying that they're going to be the next wow or the next, whatever I feel like is the, one of the things that I'm like, Pfft. You know, oh, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah. You can't pin that's, people against each other. The, mm -hmm. the unfortunate thing is that that's what some people's expectations with Anthem was. Yeah. For my expectation of Anthem yeah. was it just looked like a fun type of whatever experience that they were Bioware was going to try and do. I didn't, I don't really compare games to being, oh, this is going to be the Destiny Killer. I just, just that, yeah, you just, you, you look at it and yourself. say, does it look yeah. good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, does it look good? Does it look fun? And the thing is with Anthem that I will rave to anybody about is the gameplay is solid. I it has it one. has ruined like Division for me. It has ruined Destiny for me where uh -huh. when I go into the Destiny or Division, I think, why am I not flying? Why am I not able <laughs> you to evolve people okay. saying that? Yeah. Actually, exactly. actually, that's one thing. There's again. a Galahorn right behind me. I love <laughs> <laughs> you remind me of the fact that I did, that was one thing that I did notice about when playing Anthem, the little that I did, is that when firing at things and shooting things, it felt good. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and like using the powers. And, yeah, I, I definitely mm -hmm. agree with that for sure. Being able to play, and what was really, what's solidly done about Anthem is each javelin plays differently and feels differently. When you play as an interceptor, you are a ninja you are a weeb you run through naruto running and like <laughs> straight up slice things in your path and there's the mass effect power like combat style in it where you can prime enemies with an a uh, with an acid attack and then you detonate them with uh, like an electricity attack causing you know a really pretty explosion and a really satisfying noise too and then when you play as a colossus you are a hulkbuster you run around mm -hmm. taking down and aggroing as much damage as you could there's literally an ability for the colossus where you aggro everyone you say shoot me and everyone gets marked and everyone oh it's like so it's like you. just a tank roll then yeah kind of thing it's, nice it's the tank roll. <laughs> then when it comes to storm it's how warlocks should play in destiny <laughs> uh, wow. because okay. a warlock floats gent like 
just beautifully through the battlefield in like their beautiful bubble and they're always just like a little genie floating around and when they when their ultimate comes they summon an element and strike down causing this cacophony of just damage and cacophony yeah um, I love vocab and yeah. i would recommend i would recommend this game if it worked and that's yeah the- yeah. yeah everything going on with the playstation well, and everything too and- good, good. speaking of working this is a perfect segue for me yeah. i gotta peace out i gotta go yeah, to so work guys. We're, we're gonna say bye to pam and bye. move on to the next bye, segment pam. bye pam okay bye. um i i uh would like renee to speak on my behalf uh, oh, throughout the re- remainder of the video. <laughs> Odd- oddly oh, yeah, enough, uh, oddly oh, enough, shit. The- oh shit! Um, um, uh, okay. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> just like, just like you know, flail life. your hands, thumbs up, <laughs> and like uh, at the end. I don't day, have a cat. I don't- <laughs> oh god, get her. A cat. Okay, cute well, ball. But yeah, that's good <laughs> timing. So so that concludes the game release portion want... of it. And Pam has oh, to step good. away to do yeah, her I streaming thing. Oh. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next segment. But uh, everybody say bye to Pam. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. And we'll see you next time. All right. Okay. So now there's six on the screen. Look at this. Okay. Yay. So that I'm going to figure out. I'm going to figure out how to work that out because it it's perfect to have six cameras on the screen, but my camera's on the screen. Otherwise, yeah, it worked out well. Anyway. So now uh, I guess we can move on to the news portion of it. And this is kind of a segue in its own right. Uh, The uh, release and the news of Apex Legends, the surprise Mm. blow up game. And uh, actually, Renee and Chaz have his background right now. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. I was was wondering what was in the Um, background. But yeah, um, uh, Renee and Chaz haven't had much opportunity for games to talk about. Well, Chaz a little bit, but Renee not so much. So uh, I'll leave it to you guys uh, to kind of bring this topic in. And it's fun. (laughs) It's fun. It's fun. I I'm 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 a sucker for games with like good ca- with good characters, you know, like when Overwatch first came out, you know, like eat, eat, all the characters had like their own little personalities and all their different things and then mm-hmm. unfortunately I guess it just got I, I it became too varied and I just became like kind of tired of it, which is which sucks yeah. because it's Overwatch. Yeah. But I mean with oh, Apex wait, Huh? It's yeah, like, but just wait, there's more. There and they like... <laughs> yeah. No, there's just so no. much. Fix the characters you have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, but with you know with with Apex, there's there's eight. There's just there's just eight. And that's all. That's for it. Now. It's, for now. For now. Though. But sure. but I mean, it's like yeah, like each each one is just like is, each one is like just super different. Like you have Bloodhound or yeah, Bloodhound, and then you have you know you have. <laughs> You have Wraith, and then you have, you know, Mirage. Who's Mirage? And then you have... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And, Who and then, is you know, you, Mirage you have... is the good-looking one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that there's a video game that's not afraid to give a man an ass. And he has an ass. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. Yeah, He's a great, great character. Um, and Caustic, and Caustic is, like, really super heckin' creepy. Like, I think, like, a game, Dan- like, Caustic has given Danny nightmares. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's like, yeah, but just, like, all the Am characters the are... Am who loves Caustic? I feel so, like... No, there's t- plenty of others that love Caustic, especially for his troll. He, he's, he's, cool. he's, he's just, an effective he's character in, in certain yeah, environments, yeah. He really is. But he is a character of like your worst nightmare because you think terrorist. <laughs> yeah. You oh yeah, him. like uh, a bio terrorist kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. He looks like the next protagonist of a Resident Evil game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so quick pause, really quick. I am going. i just let you guys know. I am going to make the intro a montage of everybody doing this. <laughs> damn it! I just did that. God damn it! God. <laughs> we did it. Uh, well, I mean, ne- neither has neither has Pam or I, but uh, yeah, it's like just <laughs> filmed in post. <laughs> Sorry, I did, didn't mean to to cut into that, but uh, uh, but yeah, Apex Legends has <laughs> taken the world by storm. I believe at one point it was the highest viewed, highest played game. But Fortnite quickly like returned to the throne, but it's still heavily impacting 
mm. uh, Fortnite's yeah, I numbers. Hit, I think it hit 50 million players faster than Fortnite did when yes. its release came. Out. Right. It yeah. Was, it was 50 million in February, right? So yeah, yeah whatever that. Means. With Going back to uh, like... with Ape, oh, what was that, James? Uh, I was I was just gonna say with Apex, um, the mechanics in Apex are kind of different for a battle royale where you can actually bring squad mates back. Yeah. As well oh, yeah. as um. Mm -hmm. The whole being able to fly up and then go like zip down to a new location, ultimates and things like that. Ping. Um, the ping <laughs> system is ping. what everyone's oh been going nuts over. It. So and much so that they added it to Fortnite. <laughs> yes, that was. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, like, yeah they're like, oh, be shit, adding ping. it soon. Yeah. Fortnite's gonna add their own ping system. They add their own respawn van. Like immediately, Fortnite's gonna be like, oh, those are the things that are working. Uh, we copy. We we do that. Too. <laughs> we do that too. Yeah. Come back, people. Spend your money. I yeah, they, they have no shame, mm -hmm. but uh, but yeah, we've we've put in lots of hours in the Fortnite, and or in the Fortnite in the in the Apex <laughs> yeah, Legends. Everyone know, everyone's probably put some some hours in but, Apex. Um, personally, it's another battle royale, and I just eh, like I'll play it with somebody, but it's another it's another battle royale. So it makes my heart race, and it like it you freaks me the hell out. Ceiling. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, but I mean, and I am one. Once you fought, you're just like, okay. I still have it won because I just don't care yeah. to chase it. I just, yeah. I, I, oh yeah, I, well that's I, and I that's not more to chase after the Tetris win. Then. Yeah, <laughs> the greatest of them all. Yeah, and that's yeah. and that's that's not the fun yeah. part about it. It's it's the gameplay itself. So like, mm -hmm. not winning say, doesn't hurt really that much. Just, yeah, like, doing well, actual hot drops. Fine, like, No, what I was gonna say. I don't even remember what I was gonna say. What were we talking about? I know Apex. Apex. What the hell are we Apex. Yes. We talked about the, talking the about? ping system, the gameplay, uh, uh, chasing the win, and then how it's more. Oh fun. yeah, like it's not even. It's it's that like the game flushes out when you're hot dropping. Like mm -hmm. when you're sitting there waiting till the very end. I'm just like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing this. Yeah, like, I find that waiting in the game isn't, isn't the fun it's, part. It's not fun. It's getting in there and fighting, and it's just like I just killed like eight people with the shotgun. And now I have nothing. <laughs> I have no armor. I have no bullet. I have nothing. But I killed eight people. Yeah. So I have to do it again. It's and dropping, go, picking up gun parts, and be like, oh, I got all these parts. Where's the gun? <laughs> oh yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's just, and it's always it's cool because when you hot drop you have the same mindset as everybody else. When you wait till the very end to drop, everyone else is already kitted up, they're ready to go. You're you're the only one with that mindset, like, I gotta find shit. Yeah. When you hot drop, everyone's got the same mindset. And to go off what Renee was saying in terms of, like, comparison to Overwatch and uh, Apex, I feel like Respawn built the game before the characters. Mm -hmm. Oh, they, yeah, they, I buy that. The I buy game that. worked before the characters. And I feel like Overwatch, they built the characters, then built the world around the characters. Because they're... How many times... They, they, get, they get updates, they get balances, everyone's complaining, the toxicity. But this game, it's like, no. Everyone mm -hmm. can shoot, everyone mm -hmm. can throw a grenade, everyone mm -hmm. can do the same thing. <laughs> but they have certain perks that can give them the advantage. But not a giant advantage, but just With a, a slight advantage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's pretty cool. Like it, You could definitely see they built the world. First, and another thing is that the game works, and it works. And it's solid. The game works. Oh my god, that's it's a yeah. solid game. They, and they, they ticked off whenever all the it's too much. Yeah, when like it, it even worked when it, day one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even when it's like if there's like a lag, if there's like a server. Like remember that time, Mikey, when we we play and everything was just in slow motion. <laughs> oh yeah, you know? oh, yeah. Because like, there was like server lag. Yeah. Exactly, but it like they they thought of that. You know, it's just like they knew this was gonna happen, so they thought of something that could continue the game it's like yeah we're gonna fight slow but at least you're still fighting it's like it's true you know they thought of everything and it's right. really cool like and, it, and now they're bringing in battle pass and from what i hear it's similar to how smite does it where if you sign up for it you can um, right <laughs> okay. it's about five heads perked up and three more people joined the chat when you said smite <laughs> um hi mario um, <laughs> um um, they're bringing a battle pass in. It's similar to Smite because Smite has a battle pass. Well, they just introduced battle pass, but it had something similar. I don't forget what the hell it was called. But uh, if you signed up for it, you were able to progress faster. You were able to get rewards faster. And oh, you can yeah, see yeah. with Apex, it's a it's a big crawl. It's a really really long crawl. 
unless you fork up the money. But with, with this supposedly battle pass, it'll be a little bit easier to just grind it out. And, and I think on a game that they've already filled all the check boxes out, this is just like a cherry on top. <laughs> Sorry, the uh, where Renee was looking down the hall, but her camera for on my view is next to Chaz's, so it looked like she was looking at what Chaz was in. <laughs> <laughs> it looked so funny. <laughs> I was like, what is Chaz? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, uh, Danny and Joel have come home with a cat. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. shit, why? She do have a cat. <laughs> now, now you can so, speak for yeah. Pam. Hey. Wait. Hey. Oh yeah, Danny did post that she missed. She wanted some animal. I want a love cat today. too. You can get a cat. No one's. I need you. to talk to my landlord. <laughs> yeah, just pay. Just pay the deposit, and you're good. Cat, cat. Everybody should have a cat. Because yeah. a cat's but, the only cat who knows where it's at. <laughs> but Katie's name is technically a cat. <laughs> okay so uh uh consensus apex here to stay not killing Fortnite, but it is but it have definitely to, no. I don't think it has to. oh it, there's plenty of space for both it games definitely... for Fortnite. yeah, yeah it, it Fortnite a... needed Fortnite needed that competition yeah yeah, yeah. Fortnite, i feel like has all of um the younger generation with all the kids in high school, middle school. Maybe. My brothers on the switch that are like six. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, no, that's a good that's point. Right, is yeah. their demographics don't quite mm. uh, overlap or they overlap, yeah. but not that much. Mm. When, when I first saw apex, I actually thought of Marty because I remember oh. him saying remember he <laughs> said how cartoon, it was too cart Fortnite was just way too cartoon for battle Royale. Like it was just too. Oh yeah. And apex is kind stuff. of like a, in between it's it, like between. Exactly. It brought it down. It's like, uh, there's your green. There's exactly, exactly. And See, I was well, like, oh, there you go. The selling point for me was that it played like Titanfall, which that's my favorite mm -hmm. yeah. uh, multiplayer first person shooter. Great shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like anybody who likes Titanfall is like clung to Pathfinder. It's like, I'm not letting Titanfall go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm gonna zip line. Line. yeah. It's no secret that I only play Pathfinder. Um, but. and like Fortnite is just on that spectrum of just at the very bottom of just being too silly. Then you have like Call of Duty Blackout, where it's a little too Blackout? extreme. And then you got Apex right there somewhere in the middle. And then sometime, yeah. I think this month, Battlefield Five is coming out with Scorched Earth Battle Royale. Finally, um, interesting. So yeah, something like that. Yeah, so they delayed just, it heavily. There's play, and then you got Tetris, which is just all the way. Up. <laughs> it just it trumps all. Yeah, I mean yeah, Tetris is the Hall number one best-selling game of all time, forever. Yeah, it's the one that we never asked for, but we didn't deserve, but we love. Honestly, <laughs> we didn't ask for it. Okay, you, so uh, another piece of news that has happened over the past couple of months: Bungie leaving Activision. Manga. That's a big deal. Or is that it? Is very big. Oh, it's a very big deal. Because uh, apparently, sued. yeah, apparently, like this, just in the past like week or so, that developed is like, yeah, Activision's getting sued for for letting Bungie leave. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see yeah. that. Yeah. Oh yeah. A class action lawsuit's being filed against uh, Activision because the investors are pissed that Activision sort of led on that this partnership mm -hmm. was going to continue. And then uh, out of nowhere, Bung Bungo yes, leaves, yeah. and Activision's yeah. like, "Oh, whoops!" And yeah. investors are like, "Wait, my money!" And yeah, <laughs> which, which I mean, I could understand like where they're coming from as far as like not sharing that information is they weren't mm -hmm. fully transparent on the fact it's like, "Hey, a big revenue source isn't gonna be here anymore." Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, that makes sense. But uh, mm -hmm. I'm I'm actually interested to see what happens with destiny down the line as far as like distribution because right now if you play on pc it is available through the blizzard launcher mm -hmm. i i would doubt that they would remove it or if nothing else i doubt that they would prevent people that already own it from playing it through that yeah. but i'm kind of wondering going down the line whether they were gonna you know find something else launch it themselves, go to Epic, go to Steam, you know, what what the case may be. I'm actually hoping they go to Windows 10 so, like, I can merge my PC and mm -hmm. Xbox account. That's smart, yeah. Which they might, because a big thing that Bungo has been wanting to do is cross-save, cross-play. So if they were to do, if they were to go to the Windows 10 launcher or go through Microsoft Studios to publish, then they would be able to do that. Yeah, that would well be... be able to put on more players, too, that way. Yeah, oh, yeah. that would be so awesome. Mm -hmm. 
Um, well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see because that's probably probably yeah. nothing's going to happen anytime real soon. Lawsuits like that take a lot of time, especially a class action lawsuit. I mean, oh yeah, years, years yeah. and years in the making. But uh, I mean, look at a little off topic, but look at Movie Pass. I mean, they've been being sued for like a year now. Are they? Are right? they still like a thing? Like they, we don't have an. <laughs> count anymore with them so. <laughs> but they're definitely getting sued from yeah. someone oh yeah okay. i feel, I like, I feel like they've gotten a letter from luck but it's just like uh we meet on tuesdays and we have coffee and donuts <laughs> they got their own support group with with activision and the bungo split my initial reaction was this is good for bungie because they can now make the game that they kind of want to do at their own pace Yes, but this is also bad for the player base because now they have to either they have to wait longer for lots of content to come out, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they it's going to be a lot more microtransaction pushed because that source yeah. of revenue is gone. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes, because I feel like we don't have to worry about rushed content and like we don't have to deal with things like the Curse of Osiris anymore, where it was just whatever the hell that was just yeah yeah. At us. Go um, through this now. Do it again. Now do it again. Now do it yeah. again. Now at do it again. Now Here's the story fleshed out things and more thought out things and they are making strides and listening to the community and building activities that what the community wants to do just recently they released the season of the drifter and the reckoning is so a good. really well done activity where so good. you jump in so and you do like this horde mode style uh activity at the end you beat a boss you get you get some loot and you can keep going you could just toss in another quarter into the machine and you keep going it's like the forge um or blind well or blind well, but it's also matchmaking. So then people can just leave and other people can just jump into your game. So you always oh, have like a kind of a full squad yeah. when you're doing this activity. So it's just really nice to have. Yeah, that is nice. A, a oh, type God. of well done match made oh, activity. Um, <laughs> Renee enjoys it. <laughs> I'm so excited for, for Season of the Drifter. You don't even know. Like all the lore. <laughs> so good. Unfortunately for Activision's sake, it's, it's, un, it's a long time coming. After what they've been like putting oh, out, yeah. Like, Call of yeah. oh yeah, Call yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. I don't know. There uh, and, and there's treating Bungie. Like, there, there's so many situations like that where I wish this would happen. Like, well, Blizzard for one. Like, Blizzard needs to get out from under Activision, and they would be so much better off. But the that that's are, probably not going to happen. Yeah. But uh, speaking it's of which, thing. yeah. Uh, another segue: Activision Blizzard, huge amount of layoffs because. Yeah, all the voice because all over they did their best year ever, so they decided <laughs> we're gonna get rid of a bunch of people. It's a very EA move. Oh my god, that's such a corporate yeah. bullshit move that they're like, and oh then, well, the uh, our profits are better, so how do we squeeze out even more dollars? How about getting rid of a bunch of people that made us that money? And yeah. then they and then they came out saying after doing that whole restructuring thing that profits are actually gonna look a lot worse because of all this restructuring. No. Oh, yeah. And it's been cited yeah. in, the, uh, so in the lawsuit because the, like now with the split from Bungie and these layoffs, the stock just continued to plummet, and I believe currently it's still sitting at the lowest it's ever been. Yeah. Just oh, like, yeah. what did we do? Why is it going down? Because who, whoever's running Activision needs to be fired is what's happening. We only laid off 800 people. Why? What? Yeah, Why is it so bad? I feel like somewhere in the headquarters, one screen is upside down. You're like, we're doing better. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to look at the stocks right now. <laughs> but uh, but at, at any rate, uh, the heart of the topic for Nintendo, though, is their Nintendo of America CEO hmm. has retired or president oh, has retired. Yeah. President, president. president of America, Nintendo of America. Yeah. yeah. Reggie. Reggie is retiring, which I tell you what, like that was one person that like you associate him with gaming. Like, he looks like a video game character and acts like one. He does. Uh, maybe not as much as, like, the voice actor for Mario. That guy's a, that guy's kind of just psychotic. Yeah. But He's freaking creepy. Yeah. Um, but well, but Reggie, when though, he shows up in New York to sign, I'm like, no one's going to come to you, dude. <laughs> but, but, I mean, Reggie was very much like he was there for the games. You know, or at least, if nothing else, he was really good at putting that image forward. And it, it felt like, you know, he was he was going to do good things for the company, which he ultimately did. Like he 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 led a lot of really good initiatives and did a lot of good things for the company. And I I mean, 
I think I'll be fine with him not being at the company there, but I know he'll be missed by a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. And of course, his replacement. Bowser. (laughs) Bowser. Doug Bowser. Bowser. Doug Bowser. So damn funny. Oh, man. (sighs) He's been waiting his entire life for this. Right? Right. Take over. Bowser taking over Nintendo. (laughs) Yeah. What if his application came through? Like, did he even did he like did they even hesitate? <laughs> <laughs> he got the job. You got it. It's actually, Doug Bowser actually has had some experience um, running some of EA. So really, there's Ooh. like yeah. So like everyone's kind of like, oh wait a minute, he he was involved in EA, but he was like involved like past EA. Yeah, I was gonna say like, when was he involved with EA? Because EA yeah, wasn't always okay. that bad. Yeah, very long ago. Um, and what I'm really liking about this retirement is like Reggie can finally, you know, freaking relax. But on top of that, a new direction or a new set of eyes will be on Nintendo. Mm. Not as much power mm-hmm. control as, you know, we would think that Nintendo of America would have, but it would still be a new take on things. I look For at sure. it as like when Phil Spencer took over Xbox. Mm-hmm. When Phil oh, Spencer yeah, took yeah. over Xbox, Xbox has just Great been comparison. oof, like breaking all sorts of barriers as far as crossplay, Game Pass. Uh, backwards yep. compatibility features and just it's just been mind-bogglingly amazing to watch the future of gaming happen within this industry because yep. of like phil spencer at least that's mm-hmm. how i hold him and now with doug bowser i'm hoping he'll be more open to like allow more changes into nintendo or uh, like help provide more western outlooks into this very eastern company yeah very much so a lot of us want a sh- stronger online structure like yes nintendo's oh, yeah. great we are looking through it through rose tinted glasses but that the they wii have their shortcomings wasn't good <laughs> yeah the wii u wasn't good the well, wii like, was filled with shovelware like, the the uh the ceo i mean he took like a pay cut for like two years yes. or something like that yep Nintendo, yeah. uh mr Awad- awadasan he yeah he took severe pay cuts to sway nobody he didn't have to lay anybody off right yeah um, and that's like immediately what people were quoting when Bungie, when activision was announcing all the layoffs and everything yeah i actually i'm, I'm sorry uh, i had actually looked up that while we were talking about nintendo because i had remembered that story and so he took a 50 percent pay cut back <laughs> in like 2011 yeah um to when keep the some of his employees yeah, yeah. Yeah, but but I mean that's kind of like owning the problem. It's like he's like mm-hmm. I am the leader of this. That's that culture, though. If that's exactly, yeah. it's like it's the true. captain goes down with the ship kind of thing, and mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's sorely missing in corporate America for sure. You're just a number. Very quickly to blame someone else. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, and then and then they'll just float away on their golden <laughs> parachute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Sales weren't too great, but here's like five dollars and maybe a food voucher. You I'm gonna go fly on my jet now. Tomorrow, Bye. Yeah. don't come to work. Yeah, okay. it's it's unfortunate, but um, I'm I'm excited for Doug Bowser and see what he'll so see what he'll bring. Yeah, Doug yeah. Bowser should, should be interesting. But okay, well that that about wraps up all the topics uh, that I had set for this discussion. Well, was there anything else that anybody would like to talk about or last words that they would uh, like to say? Much. Uh, I think that was it for covered like at least bags. like this quarter. Yeah, covered eight mm-hmm. bags. Yeah. If I could touch on Anthem a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> the, this is unsponsored, by the way. Uh, the floor no, I... is open to the the senator from Texas. <laughs> uh, uh, well, you see here now. Um, <laughs> Where's your cowboy hat? <laughs> no, no, no get, no get that. Um, I know Anthem's been getting a ton of flack lately, and I'm not, you know, here to defend it or be an advocate for Are you it or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> really, I, mean, I just think more information needs to come out about it. That's why I'm right waiting. Now, I really want to play it. As like people are saying, it's bricking PS4s when it's not. Um, so it's yeah, not you know, it's, 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 stupid it's, PS4s it's, it's making them crash, but the PS4s are crash, fine. And PS4s yeah. have mechanisms built in, so this way they don't. They don't. It's very hard to brick a PS4. Yeah, it yeah. really is. What it's such a stupid rumor that it's with the PS4 is the database gets. Um, corrupted and it just needs to be rebuilt which is like a two minute process at most um hell when the power goes out at my apartment my i have to rebuild my database on my ps4 all the time because it's in rest mode 
So oh, the hard yeah. drive is constantly spinning. So if it gets unplugged suddenly, it's like, hey, you turned me off bad. You got to rebuild me. <laughs> I think that's the problem. Like, All right, PS4, calm down. Games shouldn't do that. Oh, yes, exactly. Um, it shouldn't do that. The game should run. Um, <laughs> but people shouldn't jump to one thing. Like, my PS4 is bricked, and everyone. Just that one that's person that shouted that out, who yeah. has a thousand followers, then they retweet it, and then oh, it yeah. becomes mm-hmm. anthems bricking yeah. PS4s. It's when like Sony's like, whoa, 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 no, 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 your PS4 is fine. Yeah, it's you like it's it's this. they make it sound like they owe them four hundred dollars when really it's just they owe them yeah. two minutes of their time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I rather anthem. Um, take a brick and make it into a PS4. So maybe maybe you can do that. Instead, right? <laughs> Regardless, um, Anthem as a vanilla game right now, it's pretty solid. It just I wish it would work as far as not crashing, freezing, locking up, um, and things like that. They just had a stream today announcing about a, a patch that was about to bring like 300 or so changes to the game. Oh, wow. Um, wow. Which is going to fix numerous bugs, numerous crashes, and it already, already they're fixing the PS4 thing, like with this next patch that's coming. I feel like a lot of people aren't cutting them enough breaks because it's a lot going on in that game. Well, and there is. And yeah. It's Bioware, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's that and the fact that it was released unfinished, which is totally fine as long as it works. You know, even, even then, like Destiny Two was fin- like finished and released, but there was a lot lacking in the game. Yeah. 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 Or you could be like Fallout seventy six and have a broken and <laughs> not broken, good game. Unfinished game. game. <laughs> it, it was it was broken, yeah. unfinished, and just not good. Funny <laughs> enough, I actually bought a, a P- uh, Xbox One X with my brother. We traded my old PS four and his old Xbox. Oh nice! And he goes, "Hey, so for twenty dollars, you could get the Fallout seventy six package <laughs> and Xbox One X." And me and my brother are like, "No!" And the guy's like, "Please, please, please!" <laughs> I have a hundred of these no. in my store. Oh wow! <laughs> I don't want it. So it's the, the Fallout yeah. 76 copies are lowering the value of this property. <laughs> Pretty much. I, I remember there was a picture like this uh, bridging further into the Fallout 76 topic, but there is a picture online of the Fallout 76 bundle bundled with copies of Fallout 76. <laughs> they're just trying to get rid of it. Um, they're like, oh, they're like they're giving like, it away for free. It shows up in your they, mail they with really the, the, the <laughs> publisher's <laughs> clearing house voucher. Copy. Just take it. Please get rid of it. Um, but, but our map glows in the dark. Finishing up <laughs> real quick on, on Anthem. Um, the Since it's Bioware, people are scolding it a lot harder. And since other looter shooters have come out, people are, scooted, uh, are scolding it a lot harder. Because as far as um, looter scooters, as far as a <laughs> vanilla looter shooter game, oh, looter shooter. it shouldn't have problems with endgame or problems with loot where Diablo, Destiny, and Division have all said, we need to give you guys more loot. You guys like loot, so we will give you more loot. Right. Where in Anthem, yeah. it, the loot's kind of lacking. So this, these mistakes yeah. shouldn't be happening. And that's another avenue of scolding that Anthem is currently facing. The yeah. gameplay still is so damn solid. It's so much fun to play that I game. Did, like, I'll give you that. Like, finally, finally, finally we can I... fly for free. Like it's that's something that, like every little kid's been dreaming of is to be able to just fly, it, it just fly like free. Perfect <laughs> Iron Man simulator. It's I don't have to walk. That's all I wanted. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to walk. Yeah. And when you are walking, you sprint and your little jetpack turns on and exactly. you run really fast too. It's just exactly. it's so much yeah. fun. Everywhere. Um Yeah, Anthem has a lot of promise. Because yeah. it is a good game, it just needs some work. And the unfortunate thing is that it, it's Bioware, so people hold it at such a high regard yeah. and want so much out of it that, unfortunately, Bioware is trying something different, and I don't think people realize that. Yeah, yeah. they don't. Bioware yeah, did, no, absolutely. did absolutely set themselves up for this failure with their initial trailer of showing the oh, interactions yeah. with NPCs and things like that and how this world might evolve around, <laughs> uh, you know, your decisions and everything like that. And people wanted that people wanted a decision based type of looter shooter where things change and your characters, mm-hmm. all this other crap. Um, and then it didn't. And kind in of. The end, it didn't. I feel like if this game had another year of development, maybe we would have gotten something completely different, but it already, it already was delayed. Right. And yeah. EA was knocking on its door to say, Hey, throw this game out. Come on. We need, we need money. And then uh, Respawn was on the like other side of the door being like, hey, we got a game ready. Can we put it out? <laughs> <laughs> and then 
Apex Legends coming out, and EA is suddenly like, look at Apex Legends, and Anthem's like, hey, but we're coming out <laughs> too. Yeah, so it's... I, I would say Apex then... Legends is an unfair comparison because that's like the second coming of Jesus. I mean, <laughs> they... yeah, it's like if, if you come up with a so list. Mike, he's a fan of Apex. <laughs> it's like if you put a list of like what developers should do right when releasing a game, Apex checked all the boxes. Oh yeah. yeah, they're like we didn't tell you about it. We did everything you we you could have possibly. Well, they they, they prevented good. overhyping it. Yeah, and, and we made it free. <laughs> and yeah. I, I mean, like we could go down the list. Like the the one that actually oh, stuck yeah. out my head was like talking about how like there are things that so many developers have gone through that they should have it figured out by now. The one big one for me was server issues. Is that when a game comes out, there's always server issues. Apex uh -huh. didn't have that, which is like very rare yeah. like even now like games coming out they have server issues at launch and yeah. that one it at least not that i am aware of like if there was it was minimal if anything they just came up with quick fixes for the server issues like like how it, the game slowed down like that yeah. could be very well the server issue fix yeah so but i mean just altered the game. and and in anthem's defense i didn't run into that when playing anthem i don't know if it happened a lot i i know there was some talk of it but i don't think it was that bad as far as what uh, server issues on Anthem, um, the pri the private beta, yes, the servers were non-existent. It was so hard to try and even try the game. Oh, the really? Because um, because I, I mean, I only played the public bad. beta, and the public beta seemed okay. Yes, by public beta, by the time the public beta rolled around, the server the server stuff was fixed, and okay, it was already miles ahead from where the private beta was. And then when the game launched, there was a day one patch that already addressed some of the loading issues and some of the other issues that the game had. Um, like, unfortunately, uh, in Mass Effect Andromeda, there was like terrible animations of character faces. And there was a particular character in the like hub of Anthem that had that type tape. Same type no. of oh, really? Uh, that, <laughs> that got fixed day one. Oh, that's uh, funny. <laughs> well, that's good though that they're they're staying on top of all these these corrections that they're not letting them linger. Yeah. The the fan base is there and the big thing the big like thing you'll hear from Anthem people or Anthem developers is that it's we're together going to make this game because the an the Anthem slogan in the game the the thing that freelancers say is strong alone stronger together and You'll see a developer always say, you know, some sort of thing like, hey, we're working on this, you know, and then they'll end their tweet by saying stronger together. Mm -hmm. They want this game to succeed and every player of the game that really likes it wants this game to succeed because I want it to be healthy competition to games like Destiny and Division. Oh, for sure. It's yeah, the perfect. It's the greatest power fantasy I've ever felt. Um <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's that's uh, I would say that's probably enough of me jerking off that game. Um, <laughs> well, the thing is, yeah. it, I I would say I wouldn't say it's that extreme as much as like you're talking up a game that needs to be talked up because it has been put down so much. It's been put down hard. Yeah. So so it oh, yeah. it could use it could use that positive feedback for sure. Because mm -hmm. I mean, you are. Hell, I I'll probably do like, you know, um, I'll work with you, Mikey, but I'll probably do like a stream showing off some of the gameplay of it, of how I play the game. <laughs> right um, on. Because really be it's, it's, so it's so much fun. <laughs> I'll even show like how I built my Colossal. My Colossal. It's fun, I swear. I painted him black and green and named him the Stark Buster. Because uh, <laughs> it's just... It's just it's just what I felt like. I felt like if Iron Man was to come at me with the Hulk Buster, this is how Hulk would respond. Right. Like, that's how I feel. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's a ton of fun and it, it needs to be shown that this game can be fun. For sure. Yeah. 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 But right on. Okay. Um, so anybody else have any last words before we close this out? Uh, I'm just trying to think if anything else is... Yeah, really trying to figure out some current games that are coming out. I mean, Devil May uh... Cry, so, meh. Yes, Devil May Cry. <laughs> There's a review for that out now. There's some reviews for, for that That's... out now. It's yeah. kind of great reviews, but I'm not hyped enough to buy it at full price. I'm just going to wait until it drops. I'm gonna oh, it, looks yeah. like, it looks like such a chaotic game. It just yeah. looks so ridiculous. Like, I will, I but will I, love, I, I love if, if, if a game... Oh, sorry. I mean, if a game does chaotic right, then it's just super fun oh yeah, yeah. So. yeah. like i'm the i'm the few percentage actually like dmc 
I'm sorry, but it, it was. It well, was I mean, cool. I, I'm that I'm just good. not a fan of the genre. I like, I can't say yeah. that I dislike that game because that would be a disservice to that game. It's just that it, I'm just not into that genre, so mm-hmm. I, I can't say it's any knock on that. Hack and slash. I like hack and slash. Yeah, like I, I tried God of War and like Dante's Inferno and stuff, and just just couldn't really get into it. So yeah, just just not my cup of tea. Yeah, that's fair. fair. But uh, all right, well, uh, we'll go ahead and close it out then. Uh, just wanted to say thanks you all for joining me. I I think this is like the first time all of us have been in one video, like a yeah. single video. Uh, so in I fact, think, I think yeah, this is the first so. video Katie has been in on RNG. Yeah. Oh, did we do the Alien Isolation? Nah. It, it, it never, it never made it. It never. <laughs> I, I think we lost footage. Is why, I, like, it ended up. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Half of it is sitting on my computer. Um, <laughs> which, which I mean, we could, me, we could still like release the half done and then just redo the other part. Maybe. We'll see. True. But uh, either let way, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. <laughs> let, let, us know, <laughs> let us know in the comments if you'd like to see Alien Isolation as done by Sam and Katie. How many years later? There's James. There's James. There's James. James. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, that's right. Because it was the uh, me, what? the two of you, James and, was, Chaz. and Chaz. Yes. Yes. yes that's yes. right. Was there too? Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah you were. <laughs> You're the footage that we lost. Oh. <laughs> oh. But uh, but yeah, there's always opportunity to redo those. So uh, yeah. But uh, uh, thank you all for tuning in. If you did enjoy this, let me know. Uh, we may consider doing this as a live stream next time. Uh, before Yay. you know, between now and then, we'll get all the bugs worked out, of course. And uh, do tune in as we continue on our let's plays and streams. Uh, hopefully, uh, possibly, Amari might be streaming one of his uh, playthroughs of Anthem. And who knows, maybe uh, Katie might oh, be interested James in back. joining in on some streaming. And hey, James is back. I, I believe he traded out <laughs> the <laughs> mic for the camera so he could be a... Traded so. out the for the camera. Uh, but yeah, but do be on the lookout for plenty more Let's Plays and streams. And let us know what you think of the channel and give us some feedback if you're so inclined. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. And... Click, click, click. <laughs> yes, like, subscribe. Don't miss Susanna Wink. Oh.